Hey, welcome in everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps that I use to create this um, thumbstick joystick thingy majiggy for the video game controller. So what I did was just basically to kind of tell you the steps. So I, for the base right here, I just created three circles at different um, planes, and then I used the, the loft to kind of smooth those together. For the corner, obviously the, the circle edge, I used a fillet for that. For the column, I just made a circle, extruded it up. And then for the top piece, I, uh, I, I sketched kind of like a section view of what that looks like, and I just revolved it around 360 degrees to kind of create that, that top level table looking piece. So without further goofing around, let's get to it. So I'm gonna go up to File. I'm going to go to New, I'm going to use the US Template, Standard, Create. I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this plane right here. And then I just drew a circle, center point. And the diameter of this thingamajiggy, I say thingamajiggy a lot. It's 1.25, zero. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to turn on the visibility of this plane, the X and Z plane, because I want to create an offset plane from that one. So I'll click here. I want it to go up. Um, let's see, what is that going to be? 0 0.05. Yeah, 0 0.05. Not very much. Click it. And then I'm going to start a sketch on that plane. Another circle, center point. The diameter is going to be 0.9. And then finish that sketch. And then I'm going to offset the bottom plane again. So I'm going to offset the bottom plane. And that's going to go up by 0.25. I'm going to draw, uh, start a sketch on that on that plane I that just offset, and that is going to have a circle with a diameter of 0.25. No, wait, that's not right. Not 0.25. That's going to be, I'm sorry, that's going to be 0 0.750. So that's going to be 0 0.750. I was getting ahead of myself. Boom, there we go. All right, so 1.25, 0.9, 0 0.75. So they gradually get kind of smaller and smaller as they go up. So finish the sketch. I want to use the loft. And I'm going to click on these three circles. One, two, three. Click OK. So there we go. I want to turn off the visibility of those planes that I just created. Don't need them. I'm gonna fill it the fill it this edge here. That's gonna be that's gonna be 0 0.05. Point zero five. I got so many notes. I don't know what's what's what. So yeah, 0 0.05. Click the circle. Bam. Hit apply. And then we got that piece. Looks like a hat. Looks like a pretty cool looking hat. But anyway, I'm gonna start another 2D sketch. We're gonna create the column here. So I'm going to click on this top surface here, make another circle, center point. Now this one is the one that's going to be 0.25. I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to extrude this up, 0.25. Click OK. Now here I'm going to turn on the visibility of a couple of things. So I want to turn on the visibility of the axis that goes right through the middle. So that's going to be the Y axis. And then I'm going to turn on the visibility of this X, Y plane. Because I want to wait, I didn't do that. Come on, visibility on baby. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna start a 2D sketch on this plane. I'll zoom in a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of sketch the basic shape of that top. Thumb 
table part. So I'm going to align. I'm going to click on this green dot here. Just going to drag it out to the right. And then I'm going to, I'm going to make another line. So this one's kind of fancy. So I'm going to left click on the end here and hold the mouse button down. So left click and hold it and then kind of drag it around, make a little circle-y, half circle piece, let go, right click, hit okay. So now I'm gonna dimension, uh, nah, not yet. Okay, let me, before I do that, I'm gonna do my arc. So I'm gonna draw an arc, three point. So point one is gonna be on the end of this half circle. Point two is gonna be somewhere down below that on this center point, or center line or y-axis there, let's say. And then so your last point, you make sure it's down below. So you're, if you wanna have a downward curve, not upwards like this, or you're gonna get something that looks real crazy looking. So it's gonna move it down here a little bit. Right click, hit okay. Now I'm gonna draw another line from here, straight down to close that off. Hit OK, now I can add my dimensions. So I want to dimension this line is going to be, that is, I want to say that's 0.3, yeah, 0.3. And then this is going to have a dimension of 0 0.038. I'm just kind of guesstimating here. Oh, nope, 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 nope. That's not what I wanted. I want that to be point. point well, I was like, whoa, point zero three eight. Come on back down here. There you go. I was like, whoa, that would be a pretty cool button. Anyway, oh, I was dimensioning my line here. I'm going to dimension this line. So that's going to be point zero five five point zero five five. All right, there we go. Yeah, so just keep in mind that this is not going to be actually, you're not going to be actually move this joystick around like in a real, you know, controller. It's just for looks. We're just making it like a, a video game controller statue. So I'm going to finish this sketch. And then I want to revolve it around this axis here. I'm going to hit OK. And then so what I did to add materials to it, so whatever material that you have for your video game controller, that's the same material I use for this, this bottom part. So it kind of looks like it's rising out, you know, with it. So it looks like it's kind of all one piece, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to select all of this for my material here. I'm going to look for ivory flats. And I'm under the Autodesk material library. So I'm gonna go for ivory, ivory flat, if I can talk. For the post here, the column, I made that silver. Silver right there. And then for the top piece, I just made that smooth black. Let's see, where are you at? Smooth black, there we go, bam. All right, so. Let me turn off the visibility of this plane. The visibility of my axis. Turn that off. So there we go. So I'm just going to add some shadows, reflections, perspective, photo booth. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So anyway, I'm going to save this. Save it as my thumb stick, I don't know what you call it. Thumb stick, I have, oh, maybe I already have one of those, don't know. Let me just save it. I'm gonna save over it, yeah, sure. I'm gonna save over it. All right, so that's that part. So whenever I put this part in, on my, to assemble my controller, I just kind of embedded this kind of bottom piece down into that the main controller piece a little bit. And you might have to adjust the your your planes to on your on your controller part to kind of get this to fit. 
but it, it's kind of a back and forth process. So anyway, there's our, our part right there. So I hope that helps. All right, peace out.